Hey guys, Independence here. This is a video about StarCraft Universe. This is a mod made by uh, Upheaval Arts. Uh, they've been really cool. Uh, they're given this uh, open beta right now. It's on the arcade. You can go and check it out right now if you want. You need to have StarCraft 2. Uh, your computer has to be fairly decent. You can turn down some graphical settings, but it's okay. Uh, there isn't much of a download. The only download is when you actually enter the game, the loading bar at the bottom. It says that it's uh, streaming some information. Uh, basically what you do is you go to the arcade, you search, you browse games, you search for uh, StarCraft Universe, and uh, you, hit, you select it. Right now it's only a single player uh, beta, but they say that it'll be multiplayer in the future. As you can see on the right, uh, it's very similar to WoW. Uh, they flat out say in the description that this is kind of a combination of WoW and StarCraft. So as you can see on the right, they have, you know, a very similar format with the uh, character selection screen. Uh, I logged in real quick to just take a look around, got up to level 2, uh, but for the purposes of this, we're going to make a new character. Similar to the WoW creation screen, uh, it tells you at the top right the lore about the race, uh, the bottom right your class ra uh, information, uh, bottom left, you got some customization. There's not too much, but you know you can't expect too much. It's uh, StarCraft. Uh, there are two factions: the Terran and the Protoss, uh, or rather, two races. I'm gonna say, because you're allied with the Terran and the Protoss are allied against the Zerg. So the Terran or Protoss are more like your races, and then the, these are more like the classes. So Terran would be, you know, the race, and you can be either a Terran Marine. A firebat, a ghost, or a medic. Needless to say, medic is probably the healer, etc. Uh, for Protoss, you can be a zealot, a high templar, a dark templar, or a preserver. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be a ghost because uh, it's my favorite class, to be honest. Uh, it's more, you know, it's kind of like a. In the, if I were to refer it to WoW, it's probably, I'd say, a combination of a hunter and a. A rogue, kind of. Anyway, yeah, you get a starting weapon. You can pick between your playstyles. You can hit hard every two seconds. You know, 100 damage every two seconds, 35 damage every 0.7 seconds, 15 damage every 0.3, and 85 every point, uh, 1.7. I'm gonna go with the uh, C20 electron rifle. Hit 35 every 0.7 seconds. That's 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 a decent speed and a uh, pretty good, you know, pretty good rate. Armor, it kind of picks your uh, display. So, being as there's not many uh, forests, I don't think. Uh, I, don't, I don't really like the way that that looks. It's kind of like a ghillie suit. Uh, the environmental suit, um, a hostile environment suit, and a armored environment suit. I'm probably going to go with the uh, armored environment suit or the hostile. Uh, I'll probably... I'll go with the hostile. That was what my other one was, and I liked the hostile the best. Anyway, uh, you pick your portrait. Your portrait is mainly what uh, appears next to your unit frame. My first one was a male, so I'm going to make this one a female. And let's just pick a random name. Uh, Indie Law. Alright. Adjust the color. There's only two color adjustments. Um, this one is the main part of my suit. You know, the cloth, I guess you could say. I want to make this part, uh, hmm. I'm going to make this part pretty, pretty, uh, I don't know. It's going to be a girl, right? Let's go with a little pink. Secondary, uh, this part. I want to make that, actually I want to make that kind of dark. Ooh, red looks pretty sick, actually. Yeah, I'll go with the, uh, what does blue look like? I'll go with red. Okay, um, as you can see here, it says uh, female models are not yet implemented into the game, but when the future patch is implemented that allows it, uh, your character will be automatically changed. You can zoom in, switch, move your character around, you know, look how you, you like him. And, uh, yeah, very similar to WoW. Now, the ghost abilities are Snipe, Evade, Cloak, Full Metal Jacket, and Grenade Launcher. Snipe is a long cast time. Um, it's an 18 second cooldown. Uh, evade, you can. It's kind of like disengage. Cloak is cloak. Stealth. Full metal jacket is like a bullet barrage or something. And grenade launcher is just a really strong hitting ability. 
So let's get into this. Create character. Indie lol. Login. And the this is the opening cinematic. I'm going to try and not talk too much during this. Protoss brethren, heed me. The last twilight has fallen. The galaxy burns around us. The Terrans have been consumed. We are all that stands against the shadow. But if we are to meet our end this day, then we will do so. As one, and Tarotasinar! As you can see, uh, there is custom voice acting. However, you know, they do pull uh, parts of vocals from the uh, game itself. Their final stand. Their heroes will gather. Their forces will be marshaled. And they will die bravely. But still, they will die. All will bow before the power of the Fallen One. Okay, so they throw us on Tarsonis, uh, 2523, 11 years after uh, Beyond Utter Darkness. At the dawn of the Second Great War, the Chronicles of Fate were still uncertain. I believe this is a custom Once, voice actor. Kerrigan, the Queen of Blades, was spared to ward off the coming of a great evil. In the other, she was executed out of vengeance, plunging the galaxy into a darkness it had never known. Okay, so I'm... Uh, it seems as if this uh, game takes place in the uh, universe where Kerrigan is assassinated and the Protoss fall. I'm assuming... Welcome, Denizen, Ooh, to that's... Asylum Tarsonis. I forgot that that bitch's voice is kind of annoying. Thirteen days after the hybrid invasion of 2512 began, Asylum was converted from a Dominion mining excavation site into a safe haven for both the Terran and Protoss. This robust compound is home to 17,320 Terran and 4,908 Protoss. It's quite exact. Asylum Tarsonis features a state-of-the-art Terran Protoss security system and 27-hour military protection led by Executor Orderin of the 7th Auxilia and General Augustus Deckard of the 1st Dominion Brigade. Asylum okay. Tarsonis is sustained through a complex network of hydromagnetic systems and rebuilt quad-core fusion reactors from the Second Great War. That's great. Despite the hybrid assimilation of over 99% of the Zerg population in the Koprilu sector, a large number of Zerg hives still remain active below the surface of Tarsonis. Hidden at the edge of Naglafar Canyon, Asylum has remained virtually undetected for 3,581 days. Wow, that's a lot of time. <laughs> Alright. As you can see, this is pretty much the UI. Take control of your hero with the WASD keys. Your camera can be controlled by holding down the middle mouse button. This is uh, what I talk about. The controls are a little awkward. Um, you have to, you know, WASD, normal controls, the camera doesn't move on its own. You see, like, I hit S and go back here. It doesn't move on its own. I have to kind of, like, turn it around by with the, with the middle mouse button. I actually believe there is a way to change it, but I don't haven't figured it out yet. So, yeah, you just move around. Uh, there is a jump feature, even though it's StarCraft. Uh, basically, it's a leap ahead. And now let's take a look at some of our abilities. Uh, there's an auto attack, you know, regular just attack. Uh, whenever you interact it with an enemy, he'll attack him. Uh, and three, disengage. It's pretty cool. And Q, uh, well, I binded it to Q. It's a cloak. So let's walk on in here. Antaro Zeratul warriors, your presence is ordered at the command operations center. Ready your weapons and report for duty. All right, that's New cool. New missions will automatically place a directive marker on your GPS. 
You can expand your GPS by clicking the display element. That's pretty cool. Um, mainly you just can click up the top right by your map and it'll poop. So there you go. Uh, but we got our first uh, quest. And we're going to do that next episode. So stay tuned. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. It'll help me out. And I'll see you guys next uh, next video. See you around. Thank <laughs> you.